Hello, Pisces viewers. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been on, but I am back now. And I'm still doing private readings. So if you want a private reading, that info is right below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. So just send me an email if you'd like to book a private reading with me. I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute reading it usually goes on about up to about an hour or so and if this message resonates please like share and subscribe so let's see what the cards want to say great fortune community main female mature woman child message of concern gift, unexpected income, courthouse. Okay, this isn't for everybody. This is just for a select few people in this energy group. This message just wanted to come out for somebody, so I'm going to get into the main reading right after this. But for some, I feel like the community is going to come together to help you. This is for somebody that's financially struggling. This could be somebody that has a, a child because we have main female and mature woman here. So it's like there's a lot of feminine support here from the community and with this great fortune card. And then we have child and message of concern. So I feel like somebody is financially struggling um, when it comes to providing for a child. And I feel like there's some sort of gift here, some sort of unexpected income that somebody is going to get. This could be, um, cause we have courthouse too. So I feel like for some of you, this is actually a child support. Somebody is going to win a child support case in court. Um, for others, this just might be like an older female relative or somebody that's going to help you a little bit financially because you're struggling with a child. Um, but that's, again, that's not for everybody. That's just something that wanted to come out for a select few people in this energy group. Let me get on to the main reading. But yeah, it looks like somebody is going to have some unexpected financial support. So it looks like if there's a court case, it looks, or some kind of legal issue there, it looks like the, uh, looks like everything's in your favor. Poverty, lovers, pathway, thief. Great fortune, toil and labor, mature man, occupation, main female, community again, and a wealthy man. Let's see here. Some of you are coming out a, of a either a toxic relationship or maybe just a relationship where you weren't maybe like a maybe not even a relationship itself, but basically just a sorry about that. Basically just a cycle where you were attracted to maybe narcissists or sociopaths or you were drawn to a certain type of person. Um with poverty and lovers here and and pathway it's like you have two cards that look really good but then it's like there's this thief and it's almost this feels like this is the same child actually poverty and thief okay for some this is a warning about somebody that's a gold digger and i feel like if you I feel like you would know, though, if that's your story. So don't just go assuming that everybody is like that. But it just feels like for some of you, that's the warning. But I think I think for the most of you, it's saying that you were on this path with like the lovers in this pathway and you had all these butterflies and everything just looked so bright. And this earth person ended up being a thief. This person, you know, see how toxic this person is. It's like this person has this child on a chain. And for some, that is a message. For some of you, you do have children. And I feel like this person is you kind of get a sense that they're not open to your children and that they don't want children um, or that they're just, it's like, he's looking at her. He's not, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's not really focused on this child. He's kind of looking at this woman. So for some, that's a message that you need to be careful who you're letting around your children. Um, but again, you know, 
use your intuition. That's not for everybody. But for a lot of you, I just feel like the message here is it's like you had this hope, like you were on this pathway and this person ended up stealing from you. Now, it could be stealing from you mentally and emotionally. It doesn't have to be financially. This could be somebody that was just narcissistic. It's like they just kind of drained you. They stole your time. They stole your energy. They stole... It's, it's almost like this person, it's like you let your light go for this person. You it's, it's almost, you see how she's, usually I don't see this card this way, but I'm being intuitively led to look at it this way in this context. It's almost like this person is like you and it's like you're just dumping this light out, this, this energy. It's like this person just kind of stole this from you and left you in this energy, toil and labor. And it's like, you see how he's, you know, he's totally fine. And it's like, you're working, you're, you're trying to, you're trying to recover from this trauma. You're trying to recover from this betrayal. I feel like some of you have your third eye blocked because you feel like, you know, how could I have been so wrong about this person? You know, it's like you're still recovering from this trauma. If you're in this energy group, that is, if this is resonating with you. But I just feel like feel like with the wealthy man card and the community and the main female card, I feel like you have some kind of karmic justice. Like whether this was, and again, this might be a pattern for you. Like this might not even be like a specific person that you're trying to heal from. It might just be like a long line of people that were abusive or people that, you know, if you have kids, it's like they wanted you, but they didn't want to deal with your kid. Um, or they just, they didn't give you enough. It's like they just kind of stole from you. Like they stole your time, your energy. They just kind of drained you. And I feel like you, I feel like you're wrapping up this cycle and you're going through some really tough karmic lessons right now. And you're learning to trust your intuition again. You're learning to, it's, it's like you're ending that pattern. And with the wealthy man card, I actually feel like people are, you see how this, this family looks really happy. You see like what a difference this is. I feel like these are two different people here, whether they're male or female. Don't get caught up on gender. You know, if I if I say man, but you're you're a man, you know, dating a woman, then or or two men or two women, you know, take it how it resonates. It's 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 not about the gender. But you see how happy this family is right here. Like you see how happy this little boy is. There's there's a little boy in like three of these cards. But you see here, it's like he has like this hula hoop. Like they both love him. They're both really focused on him. You know what I mean? He's just seems like he's really joyful. I feel like this wealthy man is coming in. This could be someone that you meet at work or somebody that you meet like if you're like out in the community, if you're doing like volunteer work. Um, and I feel like this person's either wealthy financially or they're just wealthy in the sense um, in, in comparison to the type of people that you dated before, they might be wealthy, if that makes sense. It's like if you dated narcissists and sociopaths, it's like you have this karmic justice for wrapping that cycle up. And so I feel like the universe is bringing you somebody that's that's wealthy uh, spiritually, somebody that's you know spiritually on your level, mentally, emotionally, physically on your level, somebody that can match your energy, somebody where it's going to be a mutual give and take, where they're not just going to be taking and taking and taking from you. I feel like for this group of people I'm reading, um, I feel like you guys are very empathic. And, you know, a lot of people might just drain you. And, and so you you kind of, it, it, it's, it's hard. I don't want to say you had to go through that, but it's like you kind of had to learn the hard way how to uh, say no to people and how to set boundaries and how to ground yourself and how to be discerning and mindful of, of who you let into your life. And if you have kids, you know, who you let into your child's life as well. You know, you're learning to protect your energy more. You're, you're valuing your energy more. You realize, you know, you see the long-term effects of being with the wrong kind of people, you know, how much it drains you, how much it exhausts you. And so you're learning that lesson, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're learning it, it. You had to go through that to see the bigger picture and to kind of realize how uh, valuable and how beautiful your energy is so that you're, you know, more protective of your energy. And the universe is responding to that. I feel like you're, you're more confident. You're more, um, you're, you're not willing to ignore the red flags again. You're not willing to ignore your own boundaries again. You're very firm in your beliefs. You're very firm in your boundaries, but you're open-minded at the same time. 
and you're you're more aware of who you are and what you want now you have a more solid foundation and so the universe is responding to that energy you're in the right vibration you're in that energy of manifesting this person who's you know either financially or maybe like just uh mentally uh, emotionally spiritually just very wealthy very giving very very generous somebody that's going to pursue you somebody that's uh, more balanced three of wands could be an air sign for some king of swords energy ace of wands yeah you have this passionate new start you have this this new life you're not looking back anymore you're done with the past you're cutting these people out queen of cups nine of pentacles a lot of you are really in this energy too where you know, you are romantic, you are loving, and you're open to love with the Queen of Cups. It's like you want love, but a lot of you are just in this very passionate energy where, you know, Knight of Pentacles is somebody that has almost everything. They just don't have that 10th Pentacle. They don't have that romantic relationship or a stable romantic relationship, but they have pretty much everything else. They have stability in other, in, you know, all other areas of their life. It's like you're learning to have that balance. But this is somebody, Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's just independent and strong and just living their best life. And they're just focused. Oops, sorry about that. They're just focused on themselves. They're focused on their goals. You know what I mean? They're they like they want a romantic relationship, but they're not going to change their values to be in one. They're not going to pretend to be someone that they're not. You know, they're they're very strong, very confident. Um, and it's like you're confident in you're the queen of cups, like you're, you're a romantic, you're, um, this is somebody that's like emotional, somebody that's mature, somebody that's open hearted, but you're learning to be those things just because that's who you are as a person. You know what I mean? It's like, you're a romantic because that's because you're a romantic because that's who you are. It's not based on what this person you dated did or didn't do or what this current this new person you're trying to manifest is doing it's not it's not based on any of that you're just being true to yourself you're fit you're learning who you are finally and you're being completely true to yourself and you're just being a romantic you're being emotional you're sensitive because that's who you are as a person and you're at that point where you're only going to allow people into your life that you're able to be vulnerable with that are, are going to appreciate that energy, that romantic, you know, passionate energy that you have to offer. So you're really just kind of making the world your oyster right now and just being in your power. Some of you are, are going through a psychic awakening and coming out of a dark night of the soul process. Ten of Pentacles, and you're about to get there. You're about, it's coming in quick too. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, fast, passionate energy, temperance. And you're finding that balance this time around because you've wrapped up this karmic lesson with um, toxic relationships. And so this time around, it's like when this person comes, when this, you know, this new person that you've been manifesting comes in, it's like you have that balance. You have that temperance energy where you're going to be your true self unapologetically and you're not going to compromise on your boundaries. You're not going to compromise on your beliefs. You're gonna, I mean, you're going to be open-minded to other perspectives, of course, but you're not going to let someone talk to you a certain way or talk to your child a certain way. You're not going to, you know, like, you know what you want out of life and out of a person, and you're going to be true to that. And, you know, you're just, you're being true to yourself. So it's, it's a very good energy and, and, that confidence, that power, that that willingness to just be your true self and to bring that energy out into the world is what's really manifesting this Ten of Pentacles, this ultimate success. Um, and then temperance here we have, it's like, like I said, you're finding that balance in this relationship where you're not just going to dive in head first. You're going to get to know them and make sure that they're a good person this time around because you've wrapped up these old karmic cycles. Um yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. I will be posting more soon as well. If that resonates, please like and uh, share and subscribe to me. I'm going to be posting more regularly. I'm going to be doing the Zodiac-based readings, but I'm also going to just be doing um, channeled like Twin Flame and Higher Soulmate readings. I'm probably going to do a video talking about the, the recent timeline split as well, for those of you that are aware of that. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you want a private reading, just send me an email that's below in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.